Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question, my question is to the minister representing the Minister for Defence. Will the minister update the House on how the Morrison government is working with international partners during our comeback from the COVID-19 pandemic to keep Australians safe? The minister representing the Minister for Defence. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I thank the honourable member for her question and for her great support of the Australian Defence Force. And of course, this government has been able to manage our budget successfully over a number of years, which has put us in a good position to deal with the response to COVID and to the comeback that uh, is underway, Mr. Speaker. But we've also been able to increase our investment into the Australian Defence Force, and it's now above 2 per cent of GDP. And that is incredibly important because we do know. Mr Speaker, that we are in the midst of the most significant strategic realignment since the Second World War. The Morrison government is safeguarding our COVID-19 comeback at this critical time by ensuring the Indo-Pacific remains secure. Now, Mr Speaker, as many Australians would be aware, Australia participated in the maritime exercise Malabar this month, and we did so with our close partners, India, Japan and the United States. And I should uh, acknowledge the former ambassador, Australia's greatest ever ambassador to the United States, Joe Hockey, up in the uh, gallery there today. And uh, bipartisan support of that statement, no doubt, Mr Speaker. Uh, but, Mr Speaker, we do know, we do know that uh, Malabar occurred over two phases and it showcased the deep trust between major Indo-Pacific democracies and their will to work together on common security interests. And Mr Speaker, we have taken very significant steps to strengthen the Australia-Japan bilateral defence relationship. We are very special strategic partners. We work incredibly closely together on trade, on security and defence, and our involvement in Malabar was just one demonstration of that. Now, whilst in Tokyo, Prime Minister Morrison met with Prime Minister Sugar in releasing a statement reaffirming the importance of enhancing regular bilateral and multilateral cooperative activities to maintain a free, open, secure, inclusive and prosperous region. And as we know, the Prime Minister is in uh, isolation with only a couple of days to go, but it was an absolute priority for him, for our government and for our country that he go to Tokyo to meet with the Prime Minister and it really reinforced the relationship, Mr Speaker. Obviously, the Prime Minister's uh, announced an agreement in principle on a landmark defence treaty the Reciprocal Access Agreement. The agreement paves the way for a new chapter of advanced defence cooperation between our two nations. And, Mr Speaker, the RAA will facilitate more complex practical engagement and enhance our interoperability and cooperation in support of a stable Indo-Pacific. The Morrison government is committed to building strong regional partnerships that will ensure that our region continues to be secure and prosperous and that both large and small nations